ten and please behave for your grandma. Hey, Dad, nice blouse. Yeah, on men that call shirts. I know. Hey, Dad, nice blouse. These are our new bowling uniforms. Guess who picked them out? Um, the village people? Who are we playing against tonight? Rossmore Home for the Aged. We might actually rake up a win tonight. Their wheelchairs are always rolling over the line. And that's a foul! <laughs> Mitzi, here is tonight's schedule. Oh, Donna, you don't have to make up a schedule every time I sit with the kids. Well, apparently I do. Last week we came home and the stereo was on and it was 10 o'clock, yet I had specifically marked 8.30 to 9 is music time, so somebody needs to read the schedule. Somebody needs to get the stick out of her ass. Kids in the room! <laughs> Wendy. Hey, Mom. It is 11 o'clock. What are you doing still up? Um, I'm watching Peanuts cartoons. That's not Peanuts. That's South Park. <laughs> oh, that's why there was fire coming out of Charlie Brown's butt. <laughs> Does your grandmother know that you are still up? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you ask her? <laughs> Mom, wake up, wake up. The password is Crisco. <laughs> Friends are home. Whoa, 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 young lady. You were supposed to be working on your science project. Well, J Jennifer is my science project. You're dyeing her hair. Duh, you know, with, with really important chemicals and stuff. This is really, really burning. See, there's science going on up there. And who said that you could have a sleepover? Well, Grandma. Jimmy? Well, you know, if your grandma said, set your head on fire, would you do that? I think my head is on fire. <laughs> this house is out of control. Wendy, toothbrush, pajamas bed right now. You didn't follow the schedule. No, I didn't. Because schedules are really for employees. I'm a grandma. Then why do I bother making a schedule, Mitzi? You know what, Donna? I really don't know. <laughs> Good night. She ignored my schedule again, Jim. She always does this. She never, ever respects my boundaries. So they ordered pizza and stayed up late. <laughs> it's not like things are out of control. Hey, Bonnie, I'm here. <laughs> this is the wrong room, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Robert. Hey, dude, your shirt's totally gay. <laughs> Jim, that if your mother doesn't follow our rules, she's disrespecting us. You're absolutely right. Without rules, we have anarchy. You sure do. Don't do that. Do what? Agree with me just to shut me up. You're right. <laughs> you're doing it again. And you're right again. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Jane. Hey, Jimmy, can I borrow your rollaway bed? My mom's coming in next week for Mother's Day. Yeah, sure. Mm. Can I get some? Sheets to go with that? Sure. Some clean towels, some of those little soaps, you know, shaped like shaped like fruit, a couple of pots and pans, uh, clock radio and a VCR. That's a lot of stuff, Jane. Yeah, I thought so, too. Hey, I know. Why doesn't Mom just stay here? It's not gonna happen. Oh, please. You mean that, that, that woman hates me. You know what it's like to have her constantly nagging at me through that voice box? You know, Jane, get me a bag of smokes. Jane, rub my feet. Jane, your father was a stranger I met in hobo camp. Sorry. Jim, we're gonna have to go. What's up? That was the principal from Wendy's school. She wants to see us. Again? What now? I don't know. And I gotta wake up Chester. I gotta dress him and put a bag together. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll watch him. Oh, no, Jean, I couldn't. Oh, no, I don't mind. Oh, no, Gene. I mean, I couldn't because you're a goofball. <laughs> Come on, when are you going to be gone? An hour? Yeah. Yeah, I already have the monitor. If he wakes up, I'll change his diaper and wheel him around the park. 
be good practice for when mom gets here. Well, all right. But in case he does wake up, I want to show you his schedule and some tips and pointers that I have so you can take care of him. Yeah, no problem. Lay it on me. Whoa. Allergies through measles. Mumps through zipper trauma. <laughs> zipper trauma? Yeah. Zika! <laughs> Once again, Mr. and Mrs. Stiles, we have a problem. What's the problem this time? Kissing. She was kissing again. She's a serial kisser. <laughs> Mrs. Cahill, we've been through this before. Kissing a boy is perfectly normal. Send Jessie in, please. Meet who she was kissing this time. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Jessie. You were kissing a girl? Yep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> it was her idea. Wendy? Yep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you can go now, Jesse. Okay. My daddy's waiting for you in the parking lot with a stick. <laughs> Is that true? Yep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and scary. Well, what in the world gave you an idea to kiss another girl, honey? Oh, Grandma. Ah. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> and scary. Don't look at me. Are we hey, how was your walk in the park, little man? Oh, it was good. And don't call me little man. <laughs> Gina, I think she was well, referring to... I get to... that enough from my mother. Although from her, it's more like pathetic little man. <laughs> What's that all over his butt? Oh, Chick's phone numbers. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, though, Don. I'm gonna need that diaper. <clears throat> oh, I, 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 get your hands off of it. What were you doing with this baby? Well, he's not me, Don. It's Chester. Women find him irresistible. I think it's because he's still got that new baby smell. <laughs> Wait a second. You're using my son as a cheap device to get women's phone numbers? Yes. Cool. Anybody good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One girl. She had a, a 900 number. That's got to be a good sign. Oh, get out. Oh, come on. So I suppose taking him to a disco tonight is out of the question? Out. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Babies love strobe lights. Out. Yeah, all right, but, you know, fax me a copy of that diaper, okay? Mm. <laughs> so, Jim, I think that we're going to need to have a talk with your mother. Yeah, absolutely right. I'm afraid of the influence that she's having on the kids. Absolutely right. You know, the kissing thing in and of itself wasn't so horrible, but I wonder what other advice she's giving them. Oh. Absolutely right. You're agreeing with me just to shut me up again, aren't you? I don't know anymore. Jimmy. I know, I know. We got a problem. So then you agree that we can't let your mother babysit anymore? You're gonna fire my mom? No, 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 no. Don't be silly. You are. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Ma. Oh, come on in, Jimmy. I'm just working out. Oh, you work out? Oh, yeah. I have this great tape. Feeling okay with Martha Ray. <laughs> Ma, Martha Ray's not feeling okay. Martha Ray is feeling dead. <laughs> And she was married to a 35-year-old when she went. She's my hero. <laughs> Ma, did you... Um... Excuse me, honey, I have to do my power cardio. One and two and... <laughs> wow, I am really in the zone. <laughs> Ma, did you tell Wendy to start kissing girls? Well, not as a lifestyle choice. She asked me about kissing, and I said, when I was a girl, we used to practice with other girls. You know, because uh, Donna's kind of... Oh, hang on, honey, I have to do my crunches. <laughs> you know what I miss, Jimmy? I miss cartilage. Dude, Ma, Ma, could you stop just crunching just for a second, please? Yeah, you know, Donna's really upset about this, this kissing thing. We had to go down to the school today and talk to the principal again. Oh, that principal is a bigger control freak than Donna. Donna's not a control freak. Oh, yeah? Who, who picked out that little pink number you were wearing Friday? 
<laughs> Donna? And who picked out the last movie you went to? Donna? <laughs> who decides when you're gonna have sex? Nah, I do. <laughs> really? Well, not when Donna's involved. Jimmy? Yeah? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Jimmy, those kids have to have some relief from the schedule. I mean, that's what a grandma is for. Oh, I know, I know. But nonetheless, Donna's a little upset that you're not respecting her rules. You know, as crummy as it makes me feel to say this, Donna doesn't want you to babysit for a while. Donna doesn't want me to babysit my own grandkids? Oh, no, no, you, you, you can be around them, you know. It's just that we'd feel more comfortable if Donna or, or I were around, too. Oh, I see. A, a, a supervised visit. Like they do with, with felons and lunatics. No, oh, Ma, no, it's not like that at all. In fact, we'd love you to come around tonight. Yeah, it'll be a lot more fun than going out. I mean, we can have a whole family evening. Oh, well, sure. Just... Mom, Dad, the kids, and the untrustworthy old fool. Hey, hey Mom. Hi, Betsy. So glad that you could join us for Scrabble Night. Well, it's so nice of you to have me. I've really been looking forward to it. Me too. Me too. And I think that this is going to be the start of a beloved family tradition. Oh, I'm sure you're right. So, before we start, would you like to do a strip search? <laughs> Always the kidder, huh? <laughs> Take a seat, Mom. Where do you want me? Anywhere you'd like. Oh, thank you. Uh, except there. That's my seat. Oh, well, we wouldn't want to sit in Mama Bear's seat. <laughs> Otherwise, Grandma Bear might get a tranquilizer dart in her ass. And... <laughs> She'd be hauled away to a whole new forest. <laughs> Yikes. So... Who's gonna start? I know. Let it be me. <laughs> so here we go. L I S T spells list. Oh, that's a silly group of items written down by the insecure, obsessive, and anal retentive. <laughs> My turn. Then I will add an E N, making it listen. Something some people around here refuse to do. <laughs> oh, Donna, you were right. I'm loving this already. I would like to build on the N and put an O, spelling no, as in know where I'd rather be right now. Anywhere but here. <laughs> hey, um, building down from the I is T-C-H, itch. Oh, ah. yes. Irritating, annoying sensation. Similar to having your instructions repeatedly and deliberately ignored in your very own house. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bitch. See, I'm adding a B. <laughs> it's, a, it's a female dog. <laughs> Did it mean something else to you, Donna? <laughs> Wow, if we were playing Twister, we could be doing actual physical harm right now. Do you want to get into this, Mitzi? Because we can get into it now. Oh, it's a good time for us to leave, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So you don't trust me with my own grandchildren. Is that about it? Well, Mitzi, it would be easier for me to trust you if you didn't blatantly ignore the rules of my house. Oh, you always have some smarty-pants answer. I mean, Jimmy and I talked about what a whacked-out control freak you are. What? Wait a second, wait a second. I would never use a term like whacked out. I've been married that long. Well, did you use the term control freak? I don't think so. I may have said control... angel. I am not a control freak. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, let's see. They're off their little squares. <laughs> you can't stand it, can you? <laughs> this 
doesn't bother me a bit. Oh, really? Cool. How about this? There. There. You see, this is a perfect example of what you do. The grand gesture that everybody else has to clean up. You know, you walk around telling Wendy that it's okay to kiss girls, but who gets called into the principal's office? Not you. Tell her just how ditzy and careless you think she is. What? No, no, no. I didn't say ditzy and careless. No, no. I said, um, I said, Mitzi is hairless. <laughs> My grandchildren mean the world to me, and I'll suffer any indignity I have to for the chance to see them however I can. If you don't trust me alone with them, well, so be it. But you should be ashamed of yourselves. And if I don't see you Sunday, which I don't believe is an approved visit, happy Mother's Day. Bacon and eggs and toast. And voila, I made my special chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> I know, I heard the smoke alarm. <laughs> Here, open your presents. Mine first. Your science project. Yeah, look at the grade. Look at the grade. An A? Oh, and look, it's a real A, not just her usually badly altered D. <laughs> Ow. How hair dye dyes hair. Says it all, doesn't it? And you've got all these graphs and scientific charts and everything. Thanks to Grandma. Mitzi helped. Well, yeah. I mean, she really made me study on the chemicals and stuff. Really? Well, it's great, Bonnie. I'm so proud of you. Mm. Okay, Wendy, you're up. What's this? Oh, look. It's Needlepoint. Oh, what a cute dachshund. <laughs> it's not a dachshund. It's supposed to be a horse, but its legs aren't done. <laughs> well, what's done is really great, honey. And look, it says world's greatest mo. It's supposed to say world's greatest mom. <laughs> I'm sorry we didn't get to finish it. We? Me and Grandma. We've been working on it for months. Every time she came over to babysit. Now that she doesn't babysit, we didn't get to finish it. Are we divorced from Grandma now? No, we are not divorced from Grandma. Oh, smoke alarm. Ah, my waffles are ready. <laughs> knock, knock. Come on in. What you doing? Working out. That looks like a Bloody Mary. Well, I'm lifting it, aren't I? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Sure. Is your bed made? What? Did you make your bed this morning? Okay, you know what? You need a CAT scan. <laughs> My bed is made. I made every bed in the house this morning. I made my bed every morning when I was a little girl, even when I was sick, because it was important to my mother that everything looked just right. Well, some people are like that. I'm not like that. I know. But I am like that. Did your mother make lists? Ugh, miles of lists. I think that I knew exactly what I was doing every minute of every day. When I was a girl, we... Weren't even sure we'd be in the same house when we got back from school. Daddy was a Navy man. So here's what I've been thinking. We were both raised very differently by very different people with very different rules. But we are both good people. How come? Because we were both loved? Yeah. Donna, I hope you know Nobody could love your children more than I do. I know that. I do. I know that. And I am so sorry for how I treated you. And oh. I'm sorry for the damn lists. Donna, that's okay. I mean, it's your house. You have every right to set your guidelines. Yeah. Thank you. 
Thank you. And I will try from now on to be less of a, you know, less of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, less of a itch. <laughs> I do have a favor to ask you. What? I would like, even if it's just when we're alone, every once in a while, to call you mom. I can handle that. Can I see the kids now? No. No? Nope. Not until I get a Bloody Mary. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Not until I get a Bloody Mary. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Finish that and you can make my bed. <laughs> Uh, did you make your bed? Never mind. No, no, no. No. You can make your bed anytime. You go have fun at Rachel's. Are you okay? Dad, quick, feel the forehead. Sweetheart, let me give you a life lesson. Take yes for an answer. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm impressed, sweetheart. <clears throat> You're really making progress with this control thing. I gotta hand it to you. You're really starting to let things go, let things slide. Yeah. You know, it's really reassuring to know that people are capable of... <laughs> ...change. You're not gonna wear that shirt, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs>